Islamic tradition holds that the black stone fell from Janna to show Adam and Eve where to build an altar, which became the first temple on earth. In Islam, Janna means lit and is considered to be the paradise garden. It's the final abode of the righteous and believers in the Islamic faith. The Garden of Eden where Adam and Eve dwelt is also called Janna. Coincidence? You be the judge. The incredible mystery that is the Black Stone of Mecca, a stone held in reverence well before Islam emerged. It had long been associated with the Kaaba, which was built in the pre-Islamic period and was a site of pilgrimage of the Nabataeans, who visited the shrine once a year to perform their pilgrimage. Every year, millions and millions of Muslims set off on a similar pilgrimage to circle the Kaaba as part of the Tawaf ritual during the Hajj, and many try to stop to kiss the black stone, emulating the kiss that Islamic tradition records that it received from Muhammad. Muslims do not worship the black stone. Instead, it is considered a relic sent from God. Wait till you hear this. The story of Adam and Eve existing around the tree of life in the Garden of Eden is a perception witnessed by observers on the earth. The black stone of the Kaaba was thrown down to the earth during these perceptions and because the people witnessed this, they thought the black stone was sent by God in order to build an altar. This happens as the pillar becomes broken. The tree of life emerges. Manifestations occur all over the earth. Stories emerge that reach us today in a blaze of religious glory. Muslims kiss the black stone in the fervent belief that it came from God in paradise and because it was the usual custom of the revered prophet Muhammad. Also on the day of judgment, they believe the black stone will have two eyes and a tongue to intercede and to speak for those who touch the stone with sincerity as it appeared when hurled down by God. They kiss it with the certainty that there is some good in it and that touching or kissing the stone will benefit them not in this life, but ultimately in the hereafter. You could consider that this stone may be a plasmatic discharge that survived a smoldering impact. Some might say in a theoretical sense that this object is debris from cataclysmic occurrences between the planets, a remnant of the time where mythologies, as we call them today, were a historical accuracy, a fact written down that faded in meaning through time. As literature becomes lost, as the earth changes, perception and ideas change in the glory of the event, and understanding how these events took place becomes lost over the course of millennia. And Confusion erupts as religion tries to reinforce stability in the wake of catastrophic events. The victims are willing to appease the god, the enforcer of doom, the giver of light. The black stone was lost and found again after the great flood. Abraham, who found it, built a second altar to make sacrifices to God, and it said that the stone was originally white, turning black after absorbing the sins of the earthlings. This is where catastrophic fear inflicts belief. The stories are designed for people to follow religious law. Only the fear of God keeping their faith, the trauma of the cataclysm, enforces their thoughts. The stone was venerated at the Kaaba in pre-Islamic times, and when Islam emerged, it was set intact into the Kaaba's wall by the Islamic prophet Muhammad in the year 605 of the current dating system five years before the prophet's first revelation. In 930, it was carried away by the fanatics of the Car Mission sect and held for ransom for about 20 years. Since then, it has been broken into fragments and is now cemented into a silver frame in the side of the Kaaba. Guarded by the Haram Mosque police, its physical appearance is that of a fragmented dark rock, polished smooth by the hands of pilgrims. The black stone is attached to the east corner of the Kaaba, known as the corner of the black stone. Recent pictures of the ancient stone were taken using a technique called focus stacking, which 
combines several images with different focus points and it turns out that the relic appears a reddish brown color with scattered gray and mineralogy does suggest that it's a conceivable highly hand polished stony meteorite. Islamic tradition holds that the black stone fell from Jana to show Adam and Eve where to build an altar which became the first temple on earth. In Islam, Jana, lit, paradise garden, is the final abode of the righteous and the Islamic believers, the garden of Eden where Adam and Eve dwelt is also called Jana if it fell from above. From Jana, the garden of Eden where they dwelt, then they surely were not on the earth but above in the sky, circling the tree of life as observed by the earthlings. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.